Hey, what's up everybody? It's Neil here with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to use Google's gesture search to find almost anything on your Android device. It's quite simple, just enter the Play Store and install Google gesture search. Now what this does is essentially just let you draw numbers and letters and start finding things on your device like apps, um, some browser info, contacts, music, or settings. So once you do install the app, just open it up. And initially it will have to load the searchable items which you can specify. So you can um, check the box if you want it to include apps, browser, contacts, music, and settings. Or you can leave some out depending on what you want to actually locate. Once that actually loads, then you just start drawing. You can draw numbers and letters. So let's say you want to look for a Google app, just draw a G and an O and you'll start getting results and you can actually see what you drew down there at the bottom so here are the possible results with G and two O's now there are some settings let's enter these uh, you can adjust the speed um, you can adjust the searchable items you can clear history um, send gestures but the one that I want to actually focus on is activate with motion so by enabling this, you can actually bring up the drawing pad just by flipping your phone away from you. Now, unfortunately, unfortunately, this doesn't work for every device as it doesn't work for the Samsung or uh, Nexus tablet that I tested it on. But all you do is to try it out, just uh, enable it. You can do hard to trigger, which uh, kind of decreases the sensitivity. I would just put it at easy to trigger, which makes the sensitive sensitivity pretty high. And then all you do is flip your device away from you. I think it's supposed to be like that. But as I mentioned, it doesn't work on this device. And you can get more info if you actually enter the help screen on the application. So activate with motion, and it shows you right there, and it gives you a little quick animation of how to actually do it. But like I mentioned, and the application mentions once you enable it, it will not work for every device. It's actually pretty selective on the devices it works for, and it doesn't even tell you which ones. So that's kind of a bummer because this is a feature that I would actually really utilize. Uh, although that doesn't work, it's still a really useful app, and I could see myself using it daily just to find something on the fly. So definitely give it a try. Also, don't forget to check out the full guide on GadgetX.com. Please comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching, guys.